How long is that going to take? As long as it takes. Any chance of you speaking things up a bit? Any chance of you being described as charming? Some people think I'm charming. Okay, fine, but this is insanity. How did I get roped into this? I'm an expert in theoretical physics, not some wannabe comp. If you didn't want to help Barry Allen, you shouldn't have volunteered to. No choice did I have. You had a choice not to volunteer me. Well, that was from my once promising career in science down the tubes. I wanted the company. How selfless of you. But I'd rather work alone. How are you otherwise? Not sure what you mean. I mean, have you talked to anyone, you know, about what happened that night? I can tell by your uncomfortable stammering that you're referring to Kyle. What's to talk about? You were going to get married, he's dead, the wedding's off. There's a lot to handle on your own. What's a lot to handle is returning 76 wedding gifts. If you really want to help, then you can help me navigate the Crate and Barrel website. Kyle's my friend too. If I could give my life to save him, I would have. That's the question, Hartley. Could you have? I didn't exactly come out of there unscathed. You lost your hearing. Kyle lost his life. I think you got the better deal. You think it's my fault he died, then just say it. 356. What's that? The exact time I stopped taking the blame from you. How are you even breathing? I don't think I can stand it. Stand. Everything. What we did is dying. It all seems wrapped up together somehow. It is. But it shouldn't be. Well, if you're looking, you can't punish me. Don't say that. I made a terrible mistake, a stupid, terrible mistake that felt like anything but. You could have really had something. You know that. Tell me what to do, Jamie. I don't know what to do. Come here. Now go home. Of course I feel for the family. It's terrible for them, awful. But don't think the rest of us won't suffer. We can see it right here. It's Saturday night and you got no one. Hadn't noticed that, thanks. We got a whole friggin' circus on the beach to remind us. What tourist wants to come to Great Front with those tents front and center? Let her march over now and pull them down herself. So we'll have one more doers first, though. Actually, you won't. I'm cutting you off. Listen to that. She thinks I'm drunk. You must be, the way you're speaking. It's been 40 hours. The Lazars lost their only son. You want something to do? Send them flowers, write them a card, raise money for Danny's wildlife group. Get a hold of yourself and grieve respectfully. And then once the killer's caught, the boy can be buried, the tents can come down, and people will come back and buy things. But until then, keep your mouth shut and be a decent person, would you? Keep the change. You're going to need it. Want to write this week's sermon? <laughs> You can't do that. Why not? It will trigger a response from people. We don't want them to know you're here. If you power it up, they'll know it's not from this time, and they will find you. Are they after you too? It's complicated. You say that a lot. It's ridiculous and cruel. What good is it? A wife and a child? I can't even remember their names. How is that of any use? I was trained and sent here to do something. All I can remember is sentimental bullshit. It's a lot more than that. If I'm in mortal danger and you seem to think I am, I'd rather not spend a money over a piece of goddamn jewelry. Hey, easy. Your heart rate jumped. You're pumping adrenaline. Are you planning to run the 100 meters now? I'm conditioned. I'm on a hair trigger. Fight or flight. That I know, but for what? Maybe family's your way back. They're close to the bone, so you remember them first. My boy Sam, he won't be born for 60 years. It doesn't matter. But oh, how I clung to him. The memories. When I first got here, I got me through it. What good is the memory of someone who isn't real, who might never be real? If they haven't been born, we haven't lost them yet. Neither one of us. 
That's a strange way to parse things. All those memories with Sam, they were real. They happened. No blue jewels, but they were toy soldiers. They were real. And I'm starting to think now, me here, it's not about losing him. I'm protecting him somehow. Scratching a movie's playing in my head does not get me any closer to what I need to do. You'll get there. <laughs>